celebrations on the streets of Montenegro's capital. People driving cars through the main city streets, waving flags and honking car horns. Just minutes before, it was clear that Yakov Milatovic won a landslide victory over Milo Djukanovic. Tonight is the night that we've been waiting for, for more than 30 years. And Godspeed to this victory for all of us. At the headquarters of Milatovic's Europe Now party, many opposition leaders came to show support. And the Prime Minister, Drita Nabazovic, was there too, to back the political direction of the new president. This evening, Montenegro made a decisive step forward. It said goodbye to this obsolete regime of Mr. Dukanovic and made a step forward towards the richer, more just, equal, prettier and European Montenegro. And Godspeed to us. While Milotovic's supporters celebrated in Europe now, at Djukanovic's DPS, the atmosphere was somber. Yet Djukanovic, in his final address, tried to be dignified in defeat. Montenegro made its choice and I respect it. I congratulate Jakob Milatovic on the trust he received in the election. I wish for him to be a successful president, because if he's a successful president, that might mean that Montenegro will be a successful nation and it will continue to go toward its goal. Djukanovic's mandate will end on May 21st. Many in the country say that it was murdered with alleged corruption and organized crime scandals. The allegations most likely cost him the elections. Montenegro has a new president. It is the end of an era, as Milo Djukanovic is ousted after 33 years in power. The change is welcomed by many here, but the expectations from the new president are also high. Alyosha Milenkovic, CGTN, Podgorica.